Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm answering some Halloween-themed questions. So I got some from some of my friends and on Instagram and stuff, and then I got some online. So I'm not sure how many I'm going to ask. I'm probably just going to go to this is like five minutes, because um, I don't want to make it like a 20-minute video. Uh, but I just figured I would answer some. Some of them are like favorite this or that that involves Halloween, and some of them are like would you rather and stuff but yeah let's just get started so I have like a list on my phone and I'm just gonna go through and pick out some random ones okay name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building uh, honestly I wouldn't want to run into like a clown or, like, I forget his name, but it's that guy that, like, chases you with chainsaws. Just because clowns terrify me in general. Which I've said this before. Like, I'm scared of clowns. And also, I'm scared of, like, well, like, that guy that chases you with chainsaws and stuff. And I see all those videos. My friend Trevor, all the time, he will send me videos, like, because we have a school email. He'll email me, like gifs or gifs or however you say it and he'll email me like those and like little short videos of like clowns standing there with chainsaws and it scares me I have to literally bite my tongue so hard so I don't scream in class so I would not like to run into that um Let's see. Creepiest thing that ever happened while you were alone? Well, all the time when I'm, like, filming videos, I'll do it all the time. I'll just be like, what was that? Because I'll just hear, like, my house, like, make creaking noises and stuff. Um, so, I don't, I don't like when my house does that. <sighs> What's some other things? I don't know. That's really all I can think of. Like, my mom, when I... I'm like with her through the week and she lives in a really old farmhouse and I don't know when it was built like 1900 sometime but it's like really old and it's like falling apart and all the time thing like in my room my closet door opens a lot <laughs> and it scares me. <laughs> And just different things like that, it freaks me out. And like all the time I'll see weird shadows under the door, which my mom says is just the dogs outside the door, but I don't think it is. It doesn't look like a dog's shadow, if you know what that looks like. Um, if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? It depends. If it's like, a demon kind of creature thing that's in there that will attack me and like try to kill me or something no but if there's just like a ghost in there that will like talk to me or like just casually touch my arm or something that's cool I'll stay why not oh I have an email from Betty Crocker sorry <laughs> um let's see have you ever seen figures in your peripheral vision? Yes, I have. I see them all the time. And my mom says I'm crazy. Hmm. <laughs> There's some really good ones. I should have picked some out before. Do you get scared easily? Um, I do, but at the same time, like, watching Ghost Adventures scares me, but I put up, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm scared of that, but I'll still watch it and stuff. So. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Well, like, that happens a lot at my mom's house. Um, because we have, like, wood floors. And it freaks me out, usually. If it's, like, right outside my door where I usually hear it, that freaks me out. 
If it's just downstairs, I'm like, whatever. It's probably just... Because our landlord, um, because we live on a farm, he comes and, like, works on the farm and stuff. And all the time, he'll just, like, walk in our house just randomly and go to our bathroom and stuff. So, half the time, if it's downstairs and I'm by myself, I just think it's him going to the bathroom or something. Or, like, coming in to get a drink. Uh, what's next? Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yeah, I think I would. Wherever five minutes. <laughs> I think I would. I think that'd be really cool. I would actually be really interested in doing that. Ooh, Halloween party or trick-or-treating? I'm gonna be honest. I'd go trick-or-treating. <laughs> I go trick-or-treating. Like, when I take my brother, because our school does one, and the past couple years, I've gone with my friend Shelby. But... I don't know what's happening, like, between us right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so, I don't know if she's going with me this year, or whether I'll take Vicky or Miranda. But, yeah. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Not normally. Like, if I... D that doesn't really help me. I usually just lay in bed and stare out my door when I'm at my grandma's. Like, I'll just lay there. And just stare out my door into the hallway until I finally fall asleep. Um, or if I'm at my mom's house, I just stare at the crack at the bottom of my door until I fall asleep. Like, that's just how it goes. Alright, we're going to do one more. Let's see. What was your first Halloween costume? Well, the first year I was born, because I was born September 13th, so I was a newborn. I think I was a, I'm sorry, my clock's going off. I'm pretty sure I was a, like, pumpkin. I should have a picture, because I have a bu bunch of pictures on my phone from where I had to do my senior project. Yeah, I have a bunch, like, right here. I'll show you guys this one. This is a fetus picture of me. This was, I think I was one or two years old. I can't remember which. But I used to really like Elmo. And I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Can't really. There's like a glare. Can I make it so you can see? There's another one. Which way is it? Nope, wrong way. You can't really see that either. There we go. You can kind of see it now. But it was me just as Elmo. If I could, I would find a better picture. I might do a video, like, reacting to, like, some of my baby pictures. Because I have to go through a bunch of them for my senior project. And so I might do a video reacting. But I don't have one of my first uh, Halloween. But there I was as Elmo when I was one or two. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all had a lovely Halloween. And yeah, leave in the comments what you wore for Halloween or if you did anything for Halloween. But yeah, I think that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.